morning, another beautiful sunny day. Uh, excellent day. Yeah. We're here in Cave City. We're gonna finish the tour today. Uh, we'll end up in Nashville at the Grand Ole Opry. But we're here at Smiley's Garage. Letitia's dad had this place and I have to tell you, I, I actually shed a couple tears in there just now. Just now. Because I saw my father in there. Um, WD-40, <laughs> uh, grease cans, um, just reminded me of home and I miss him. And so I appreciate being able to get in there. And so, we're going to have her tell us a little bit about this place. Well, we should get on in there and see this place. Let's do it. We're at Smalley's Garage. It started as my dad's motorcycle garage and cars. And then 10 years after he passed away, I needed a place to work on my bikes. And I came up here and opened it up and it was still exactly the way he left it, just a lot more dust. And so I started cleaning it up and fixing, doing some repairs and now I have it. So Smiley was my dad, David Passmore. And, uh, but everyone called him Smiley because he smiled so much. And, Rode motorcycles his whole life, built motorcycles, and I grew up on a motorcycle. He put me on one when I was four, and I kind of just never looked back and been riding ever since. Now, this was uh, my father's personal garage, but the community always came up here because you know how it is, garages and all your friends come and hang out. I only had plans to just work on my own bikes, but when I opened the garage doors, people started slowly stopping by and, and they come in, they're like, I haven't seen this place in 10 years. And they started telling me stories about my dad and when they would hang out up here. And I was like, well, if you need to work on your bike, come up here. And so it became a community motorcycle garage, a free community motorcycle garage. At that time, I realized no one had really done anything for people like mine, you know? It was a nice way to give back. And you can come up here, use all of the tools, air compressors, you know, welders, everything that we had. And we had a drop-off spot so you could drop off old parts, slightly used tires, and then if someone needed it, they would come here and grab it. So we could get you back on the road until you could get money to fix it the proper way. And it worked great. Every day I went outside, there would literally be bags and boxes full of motorcycle parts. <laughs> I mean, it's pure love, you know? I open the door and I, you know, I love the space. It reminds me of being little and my dad teaching me about just uh, life through motorcycles. But yeah, it's a great place, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but, and everyone else feels that same way too, you know? And I think that that was the thing that brought everyone together. It was someone could always identify with their dad, usually in this garage and it was just a really fun, open environment. Do you know what's crazy is that when we built it, we threw a big birthday party for my dad. It's on uh, Labor Day weekend. So we thought a few people would show up, 500 people showed up. We had bands all day, we had food trucks, and then we had vendors, and we gave away $10,000 in motorcycle gear. I had all of the sponsors from when I was in it, you know, full time, like donate, like Bell Helmets, Vance and Hines, I mean, Russ Brown Motorcycle Co. all like helped out. And right before it though, I tracked down his motorcycle that he had when he died and I went and bought it and brought it back up here. And it was cool to have his bike here, kind of like it was a piece of him, you know, and everybody got to celebrate and say happy birthday, Smiley. I'm passionate about Cave City because it's where I'm from. I was born and raised. My whole family is from here. I mean, I, it dates back to basically before it was a city and I believe in it so I've seen it change and we all romanticize about you know our childhood and when I was a teenager I was like I'm moving away in my 20s I'm like I'm never moving back and then I moved back I didn't plan on it but this garage actually made me stay I was just gonna work on my bikes for a little while but when it, everyone started coming here and I just felt like this was what I was supposed to do and um, I'm really glad that the road took me back home. You know, we always say after every trip, wow, that was the greatest trip ever. You know, and then time goes on and you do another trip and that one was the greatest trip ever. So you get this library of great trips. This trip was the greatest trip ever. Yeah, really. <laughs> I was so. thinking the same thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It really, you really was. Thank you. What do you think, man? Um, you know, we shared a lot of laughs. We shared a lot of tears, uh, the emotion of it all. I said it last night. I 
I just appreciate you being so busy taking the time to hang out with us and show us some history here about your family and, and open yourself up to us. And um, Thank you. We didn't know you as well as we do today. Yeah. And your crazy sister. But <laughs> <laughs> Janet, we love you. <laughs> but we just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I mean, you're you're really special. Yeah. Well, thank yes. you. You guys so are, too. True. So I think this is, uh, you know, that moment for a group hug. Oh, well, all right. Group hug, everybody. For sure. Yeah. Watch your head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lakeisha, thank you. Thank so you, So what's guys. in for the rest of the day? Uh, I have no idea. Just we're gonna whatever. We're gonna take the 265 to Smithfield. Smith Smith Grove. S Smith Grove. Then we're gonna take the 101. Which are we in California? Oh yeah, <laughs> right. 101 to 31. We'll go 101 to 31 and down to Eagle Rider. Well, can I say one thing? Yeah. I apologize. Her name is Letitia, and all the time I'm calling her Letitia, and she never corrects. She just goes yeah, along with it. So thank you for letting when us. <laughs> when you got a name like Letitia in a town like mine, nobody ever says it right. I don't even notice it anymore. And, and just thank you for being so welcoming, yes. making us feel like we belong, like we're at home. You do, and this is your home anytime. Yeah. Come well, in. when you're in California, you come and hang out with us. I am, for and sure. we'll be back. For sure. I mean, I'm not sure we'll have the same roads to travel. <laughs> with, but uh, what a beautiful trip, what a beautiful yeah. person, what a beautiful Thanks. family, uh, your mom and, and your sister, and just, you guys are some strong women. Yeah, Thank totally. You. We love that. We love that, yeah. but remember, we have still more to go, and tonight we're going to be at the Grand Old Opry, and, and we're not done yet. So <laughs> let's get there. Do you want to say something? No, okay. I just I love that you guys are here. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate what you do, and you're out there telling the story of America and the back roads of it and these small towns and stories like mine, so thank you. So do we give a big see you down the road? So <laughs> we'll see you down the road. boys that 265 to the 31 over here is just a great ride we're gonna be scenic all the way into the hotel down in Nashville well I don't know in this state it's been scenic every single where we've been so that it's just another beautiful day I've been absolutely blown away it's capturing so much history and just amazing stories and if you guys are watching this video you've hopefully watched the prior episodes in the series just a great time well, i gotta tell you leaving the garage there got a little bit emotional we had a leticia tell you guys that story and she teared up we were tearing up and then at the end too the girls got a little choked up uh just want to thank them they they were so hospitable to us the whole family we spent three nights in their bar i mean i don't think we've been in a bar <laughs> the same bar three nights in a row so no Hey boys, we got a wagon ahead that just pulled off the road, so keep your eyes peeled to the right. Oh wow, look at that. Dude's cruising down with some kayaks, huh? Anyway, so let's let's work our way down uh, into Nashville. Then we have the Grand Old Opry tonight. I think that's where we're closing down the show, at the Grand Old Opry. Well, what a great trip. Let's get on into town, enjoy the ride, and we will see them there. hell of a day. We're here in front of the Grand Ole Opry. We're going to go see a concert tonight. Great day. Great day. Great week. Great. Yeah. yeah. Every day's been fun. Every night's been great. What a massive trip this was. For Boy, sure. it sure was. Well, let's go find some grub. Yeah.